With over 10 million record sales worldwide, JLS made history as one of the biggest boy bands around, but singer JB Gill's mother Cynthia has now revealed that initially, her son hadn't been sure about joining at all. Her pep talks helped him make the decision to give it a go, and soon afterwards, he got his big break when the foursome were invited to appear on The X Factor. Cynthia, 62, revealed, one of his big concerns was actually just joining the band because he said, I don't know who these individuals are. We had a discussion about that and my thing is, the only way that you're going to find out what they're like is to actively spend some time with them, the mother of two reasoned. She has shared the information to encourage other parents to give their children career support at critical moments to make sure they don't miss out on opportunities. JB had been equally nervous about auditioning for the band in the first place, but Cynthia advised, the only way to know if it would suit you or not is to actually go. Secretly, she was worried too, fearing that potential rejection could crush her son's spirit had already endured disappointment when an injury halted his progress as an aspiring pro rugby player in his teens, so she felt protective. One of the things I was anxious about was the fact that had go on to a show like The X Factor, where there were 12 acts and somebody goes home every week, you've got to be prepared, she exclaimed. Yes. Terry's a potential for breaking into the music industry but Terry's also a potential for disappointment. I was very conscious about that. With lots of people that have been on the X Factor, you don't hear about them again afterwards. JB had also agonized over which path to follow, having already started university at King's College London alongside the singing lessons he was taking in his free time. He wanted to have a discussion about that, what should he do? Cynthia continued. If you're gonna go on the X Factor, you're making quite a commitment and, he was, studying as well doing both was going to be virtually impossible. She also elaborated on her son's disappointment at giving up his promising career in rugby. An injury had temporarily crippled his ankle during a match for London Irish, and he lost his confidence after that day, which deterred him from trying to hit the big time on the sporting circuit. In spite of his concerns, Mum Cynthia was there to keep him grounded and motivated, and actively encouraged him to pursue his X Factor dreams. As a result, he competed with JLS in 2008 and achieved runner-up status, coming second only to Alexandra Burke. The band split amicably almost a decade ago, but not before they'd sold millions of albums and enjoyed hugely successful tours. Their reunion tour took place across the UK and Ireland several months ago, marking the final time the group would ever sing Live Together, and JB is now a farmer. However, his whirlwind journey was propelled partly by Cynthia, who regularly had important career discussions with her son. She is now the face of a 2022 campaign, Talking Futures, which urges parents to discuss prospects with their children regularly to boost their chances of success. As parents, we have a unique opportunity to be our child's most valuable asset at the beginning of their path to independent living, she declared. We don't always know the answers, or what to do, so having an essential resource like the new Talking Futures website will empower parents in the quest to provide direction and advice, through regular conversations, to help their children navigate this journey. Parents and educators can find out more and access free resources by visiting the Talking Futures website at, https colon slash slash www talkingfutures.org.uk